Hello everybody, Rhea Ninja here. Today, I'll be showing you how to model a PlayStation 3, all quads, and we're gonna be using the Boolean modifier. Um, I'm gonna be using an add-on, which is called the Bool Tool, but if you use the, if you use Blender's regular Boolean, it works the same thing. It does the exact same thing, so there's really you're not really missing much. It's just that with you know the bull tool, it just uses shortcut keys rather than you know the standard way. But with that being said, we're gonna pretty much set our scene up for the images that we're gonna use for the PS3. I'm gonna change this to a UV image editor. And I'm gonna clip, put this little icon right here, enable that so that our images will stay. And got some PlayStation 3 images. Uh, we'll be using this logo to kind of carve this into the, PS to the PlayStation 3. But for now, we only really need is the, uh, the front, side, top, it would be nice to have a bottom view. Oh, matter of fact, matter of fact, we're we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna actually let me take that back. I'm gonna load the images in so that it'll be in the memory. So. Say it's this one. It's the front, the side, and last but not least, the top view. All right. So now that we got all the images built into our memory, our our blend files memory just put that back in the center now I can go to background images enable that add and now all our images are right here so we can load in our front add image and let me change it to the front view actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause the video real fast and I'm gonna get all the images situated so that save a little bit of time all right be right back in a second. Okay, now we got all our reference images situated. Got the front. Uh, let me click back into my screen. Got the front, the right side, the back view, and the top view. Now, as you can probably notice, some of these images aren't really lining up as as I would think. I mean, I guess there's a little bit of perspective going on with uh, the front and the back and something's a little off with the top. So I just I'm kind of offsetting it to kind of, you know, account for both. But for our PS3, since this shape right here is more like a like an oval, if anything, or I think I should a circle I think a circle would be fine align it to our view I'm going to say about um, 12 12 vertices yep tab into edit mode we're going to scale it on the y axis and we're just going to match the uh, the profile of the PS of the PlayStation Three, and we're just gonna use our grab, our grab tool with G, and we're just gonna just pretty much you know shape it into place. Oh, let me get rid of this cube that I used to line up the images. All right, so we're just gonna. Just manually shape it. 
oops, the uh, the top part, not the bottom. And we're just going to line up these three edges towards the end. We're going to put it where that crease is going to come in at. There we go. Um, we just modify this part over here just a little bit. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, that's roughly our shape. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna extrude it on the X axis, on the front view. And we're gonna round off the difference, but we're just, we're just getting the uh, base mesh for right now. So all that's looking fine. So what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna fill these in, select the vertices, select two vertices or select four vertices and that create a full face. And then if you have the loop tool add on, you can just hit FFF, which will create a face, which I'm gonna show you right now. A little shortcut. So we're going to add now a uh, mirror modifier, clipping. Now it's not showing up on the other side because, let me show you up here, because our rotation is off. So once we apply our rotation, it's going to flip itself on the negative side. So let's do that rotation and there we go. Now this grid floor is kind of getting in my in my way, so I'm gonna take that off. Grid floor. I don't need the axes showing. All right. So now we're just going to finish off by putting the bottom part of uh, the PS3. We're going to use pretty much a cube for that part. So initially we're gonna break this thing into parts, which will make things way easy. And then it'll, it'll really make sense how, you know, all the components are. You know, all the pieces make up a whole. So let's just continue lining up our images we're not really going to worry about this actually I'm gonna put this right in the center right there and I'm just going to mirror modifier that now yeah I figure there's gonna be something off and also I have another reference I have my actual ps3 right in front of me so that's definitely a big help We're just gonna have to offset the rest if uh, accuracy is a little off. All right, so I'm gonna delete these these uh, internal faces right here, so that our mirror modifier will work without a problem. And let me make sure the same thing is done up here. All right, apply that back. So now we have initially the base mesh for our PS our PS3. Um, let me see, do we have enough time? Yeah, we're, we're looking good on time. All right, so now the next step oops, will be to create this, this nice, uh, this nice curve where you insert your tray and you got your eject button and your power button. And we're gonna use a Boolean for that. But we're going to use a cube. And we're going to go into edge mode. Make sure I got it in the right view. Alright, wrong part. Right there. Alright, perfect. 
And we're just going to chamfer that about. That's fine. So we're just going to move that into place. Alright, now we just want to modify our curve. Actually, put proportional editing on. And then right about there is fine. So I'm going to select uh, this one vertice, and I'm just going to place three and push it forward just a little bit. Just zeroed it off. All right, so we got that shape going on. So now we're just going to drag the rest of these vertices on our x axes, and that's going to make our clear cut across. Now we're going to make sure everything's lined up on our side view. Turn proportional editing off. All right, we don't want it to come too far, so we're just going to move it right here. And we're gonna accommodate that little, that slant motion that's going on. All right. And of course, the Boolean modifier will kind of destroy the, the topology. And I'm also gonna show you how you correct that to maintain all quads. So we're looking, we're still looking good on time. So now I'm gonna hide this bottom part, and I'm gonna use the boot tool, and I'm gonna use I think it's difference, which is negative subtractive method. So let's do that. And now that cut looks pretty good. That looks exactly what we want. And also, it's going, it got that slant. So, let's see. We don't really need to modify it. I think that's the, that's enough of a cut. Um, hmm. Let me see if I do this. Is that gonna really make much of a difference? All right, well, let's find the way it is. All right, so now we're gonna apply that. Oh, crap. Um, first, before I apply that, let me get, let me apply the mirror modifier. Now I can apply the, the Boolean so that it won't mirror across both sides. And I can delete this brush. So now let's check how our model's looking. Okay, so well, it didn't really do a bad job. Well, this time around. <laughs> All right, so to do a little cleanup, we're gonna change our snap element to vertex, and we're gonna enable automatic merge vertices in the same location, so that it'll automatically merge uh, some edges or faces or vertices that's really close together, and it'll help make our job a bit easier. Tad bit easier. All right, so now I'm just gonna add a couple loop cuts, and now I'm just gonna clean this up. Just snap these into place. Since this is not doing any this, uh, oh, I just gotta clean this up right here. Just make sure that this this isn't really going up. There we go. Let's see. Um, we got a long vertice up here, so we're just gonna and it's not connected to anything, so I'm just gonna merge that. We can always modify our curve and add a couple more. 
edges into there. But what I'm going to do here, since I want this to be flat, I'm just going to scale it down. And it kind of modified this a bit. All right, so everything looks perfectly lined up now. All right, so initially this is the first step that we're gonna do for our PlayStation 3 model. We got the, the this tray area going on. And last but not least, I'm going to change the shading to make it look a little bit better. And I'm gonna apply a subdivision surface, wrong object. Two. It's looking horrible because our edges aren't hard, but on the next part, we're going to fix that. But for right now, we just have the bases of our top part and the bottom, which we'll start to modify perhaps, if not in the second video, the third one. And then we'll wrap up everything with the buttons. And we'll just continue on fine tuning our topology so that it stays all quads and when you go to subdivide it, it won't become a mess. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and just look forward to the next one. And don't forget to check out the first Blender uh, tutorial series that I've created in case if some of the information in this video isn't really making any sense, I'll definitely Refer, prefer you to check out the other videos to catch up. Alright, see you on the next one. Peace.